Greetings, happy Thursday. So I wanted to share uh, the story that most of you probably have seen um, that I will be following all the way through. Um, so like I said, most of you probably have seen this video that gone, that's gone gone vir viral. Um, it happened in Summit, South Carolina, near Columbia, South Carolina. A white Army NCO, a non-commissioned officer, um, is shown in a viral video uh, shoving harassing, threatening a black man in a South Carolina neighborhood. Um, this uh, guy, Jonathan uh, Pentland, Pentland um, he has been uh, charged with third degree assault. Uh, he is a 42-year-old uh, Army drill sergeant, and he was charged Wednesday and listed as detained in the Richland County Jail and issued a personal uh, recognizance bond according to the online jail records which did not show him as having an attorney the viral video posted monday by a woman on facebook and shared thousands of times showing a man identified as pentland demanding that a black man leave the neighborhood before threatening him with physical violence and here is the video that most of you have seen for, but for those who haven't seen it of him harassing and assaulting this young man Then we will have to get the report by ourselves. What are you doing here? Then walk. walk. Out. Well, you've been here like 15 minutes now. Let's go. Walk away. Keep walking. Walk away. Walk away right now. You need help? You got this in camera. I'm happy to help you. Uh -uh. I didn't hit you. There's a difference between pushing. Pretty sure you were the aggressor, buddy. You're aggressing on the neighborhood. Someone came running. Walk back. You better walk away. You walk away. You talking to my wife right now? That's your wife. Walk away. Walk away. Check it out. You either walk away or I'm gonna carry your ass out of here. What do you want to do? Or what? What are you gonna do? You walk on me. Let's go. Walk away. I've been doing it. I'm about to do something to you. You better start walking. You better start walking right now. You come after me like that? I ain't coming after you. You're in the wrong neighborhood, motherfucker. Get out. Get out. Where? Where's your house? What's your address? Maybe we should walk you home. Walk me home? Well, you bet. You want to bet what I can do? I live here, sir. Okay, right now, you're address? harassing the neighborhood. I'm not harassing anyone walking through the neighborhood. I live in here, sir. Where? Hey, check, check it out. We are a tight-knit community. Okay. We How take care of each other. Uh, Held a lot longer than your ass, because I have never seen you before in my How life. How long have you been living here? That's Why does that business. even matter to you? How long have you been living here? It doesn't matter. Here? You know what? Get the hell out of my face. Get out of my face. You walked up to me. Check it out, motherfucker. I ain't playing with you. You either get your ass moving, or I'm going to move you. You want to bet? So notice that when the young man tell him I live in this neighborhood, he starts saying I can walk you home where um, and all of that. But when the young man asks him in return, how long have you been living in this neighborhood? He feels like he don't have he doesn't feel the need to tell the young man. Like, why do you think you have some type of authority over this man? Now, mind you, he just uh, he was just stationed in Fort Jackson in 2019. So he probably haven't been living in that neighborhood very long. I'll just show you what I can do. I would suggest you better walk away. Walk away. Walk away. I'm walking. You keep following me, sir. There's only one way out of here. It's right over there. There's multiple ways out of here, sir. You want to bet? Walk away. So again, he is threatening him, harassing him, um, and then he physically assaulted him. Um, he's telling him you're in the wrong neighborhood. And he's saying, I'm about to show you what I'm going to do. Just on and on and on. So according to Sherelle Johnson, Sherelle Johnson is the lady who posted the, the video. Uh, according to Sherelle Johnson, who posted the video, the incident happened in a subdivision of the summit, uh, which was, has a, which 
has a Columbia address. Okay, so Summit is not a city, it's a, it's a neighborhood, a subdivision, and it has a Columbia um, address, but it's technically outside the city limits. The video does show that uh, what started the conflict, Johnson did not immediately respond to message from the social uh, press seeking further details. Um, so Sherelle Johnson posted a viral video. Uh, she said she was walking in a neighborhood in South Carolina with a friend on Monday. And when she saw the drama unfold, Johnson said that the video was recorded by another woman before being sent to her to post online. So this is the lady who actually recorded the video. Her name is Sade. Um, Sade says she, and this is what she posted on Twitter. I went for a walk yesterday evening and I encountered a young man, DeAndre in distress. I decided to record the incident in order to protect the black man from possibly becoming a statistic. So, um, Sherelle nor Sade, I hope I'm pronouncing her name correctly. Uh, they both said that they, they did not know, uh, Deandre, the, the young man, the black man that's shown in the video that's being harassed. They did not know him before this incident. She wrote, um, Sherelle Sher uh, Johnson wrote on her Facebook, the young lady recording the video also did not know him until last night. She saw the young man in distress and she knew she, he, she knew he didn't do anything wrong. So all of the people who witnessed this, other than the ones who were harassing, harassing him, said that he didn't do anything wrong. He was taking a walk through the neighborhood, wasn't bothering anybody um, before they started bothering him. So Sherelle says she did uh, contact uh, both D and the, she calls him D, his name is DeAndre, I believe. Um, she contacted them to check on them and they said they were both okay and they were, they've been processing what they saw in this video. So again, he has been arrested. Um, now when the police first got to the neighborhood, uh, when they were called out, they, uh, they charged him with, they charged him with, um, him being this, the Sergeant Pentland, they charged him with, um, what was it? Let me look, let me look through this article. Cause they said what they charged him with. And by the way, like I said before, he is a um, NCO, a non-commissioned officer. I don't know whether he's a staff sergeant, but I did read an article that he is a drill sergeant. Um, he's stationed there at Fort Jackson. As you, most of you probably know, Fort Jackson is a training um, base, one of the largest training bases. Um, uh, yeah, it says uh, the recording begins... With Pentland, a U.S. Sergeant First Class. So he's a, a U.S. Sergeant First Class asking the black man, what is he doing in the area? But I'm looking at for what he was charged with uh, when they first came out. Because they first didn't. Okay, here it is. Johnson said authorities arrived at the scene and only gave Pentland a citation for a, a malicious injury to property. For slapping the man's phone out of his hand and cracking it. So that's what he, they just gave him a citation before, but after uh, pressure and outcry from the public and this video going uh, viral, then, then they actually um, arrested him and charged him with third degree assault. I think it was, um, here's a video. The fact that he put his hands on somebody that we've got. Back it up a little okay. bit. But so we've all came is a here we go. Since the suspect is an active duty soldier, we've discussed it. The military has taken whatever steps that they deem necessary, but we've all came together and we've worked on this case to bring it to the conclusion that we've got. Sure. what was the particular act that led to the assault and battery charge? The fact that he put his hands on somebody, he touched somebody, uh, that's an assault. That's assault and battery when you place your hands on someone, and he did. The video showed that he did. And that's the evidence that we have that he was charged with. What's the maximum, what was the maximum uh, penalty? It is a master level case. It's a $500 fine or 30 days in jail. So it's a, it is a maximum level case with a $500 fine and 30 days in jail if he is convicted. Uh, officials at... Fort Jackson, the U.S. Army's largest basic training facility on Wednesday, uh, said Wednesday that they were looking into the incident on one of its Twitter accounts. A base official also said the U.S. Department of Justice authorities were investigating it as well. 
According to social media accounts connected to Pentland, he has been stationed at Fort Jackson since 2019. And he has worked as a drill sergeant um, at the garrison uh, complex that trains 50% of all soldiers and 6% of women who enter the Army each year. Asked on Twitter for a response to the video, Fort Jackson commanding uh, Brigade General Milford Beagle Jr. said that the behavior displayed in the video is by no means condoned by uh, by any service member. We will get to the bottom of this ASAP, he said. On official uh, Facebook page, Beagle said that Army officials have begun our own investigations and are, we are working with the local authorities. So, um... And I'm just seeing if there's anything else in this article that I should share. So with the military, um, a few things could happen once he's convicted or even if he's not convicted, which I, well, we don't know what's going to happen with our so-called justice system. But even if he's not convicted, the military could either demote him or they can, um, and they could, I guess the term I've heard people say in the military uh, is bust him down. Um, he could be taken down from whatever ranking he is. He is a sergeant. I don't know whether he's um, E5, E6, or E7, but he could be busted down to a specialist, which is the E4 or even lower, or they could actually uh, put him out um, a dishonorable discharge. A dishonorable discharge, I do believe, means that um, he will not get his retirement he's 42 years old so he's more than likely been in the military for a little a little while but if he went in about 20 he's probably been in about 20 years depending on when he entered the military um but he would lose his retirement and some other benefits um that he would definitely lose if he um got a dishonorable discharge or like i said before he uh could be demoted uh, as they say busted down from a sergeant to uh, a private or a specialist. So, let's see if there's anything I'm leaving out here. So, as a result of all this, um, there was some protesting in that neighborhood. And I'll show y'all the video of that. So yesterday, um, Wednesday, they were protesting um, about this in the neighborhood. Um, and this guy, Jonathan Pentland, a uh, Pentland, um, they have been moved to another location. I don't know whether he moved himself or whether the police assisted him to move. Uh, but due to the protesting, they have uh, gone to an another location. Um, because people were out there protesting. They were, as you saw in the video, they were saying no justice, no peace. Um, they ain't having it. The young man wasn't doing anything. He was just taking a, a walk through what some people are saying it was his own neighborhood. He was walking through a neighborhood that he lives in. Um, and, uh, and according to his own words in the video, he lives in the neighborhood. Um, not bothering anyone. And even if he wasn't, he didn't live in a neighborhood, he wasn't trespassing on anybody's property. He was walking on a public sidewalk, was not bothering anyone. So there was no reason at all for this man to, um, to harass him, to threaten him and him being, um, Deandre, if that's his name, there was no reason at all for him to push him, assault him, harass him, threaten him or any of that. So again, I will be following this all the way through to make sure that he uh, at least, you know, because I think that's what they're charging him with uh, uh, that will bring what they said, a $500 charge in 30 days in jail. Okay. Uh, so that he will at least get that. Um, and I want to see what the military does because he is not an example of, uh, he is not a good example of an NCO. He's not a good example of a drill sergeant. Uh, that's the person that train soldiers, uh, that first come into the military. So he is not, uh, he is not representing the army well at all. And he is not a good example of what 
his job is. So I'm going to see what the army does. And I'm sure you guys will be following this too. Um, let's see what happens. So anyway, I think that's everything. Um, again, I'm, you know, there's, if you go on Twitter, if you go on TikTok, especially TikTok, um, and Instagram, and of course, Facebook, YouTube, there's lots of, uh, people showing this uh, video and, um, their commentary on this. Uh, but, um, I just wanted to kind of get a handle on it, read, read it myself before, um, sharing it. And, uh, so this is my commentary on it. Uh, this is Miss Cruiser. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, drop down in the comments. Let me know if I left out anything, what you think about this whole thing. You think he should be, um, demoted or actually kicked out the military with dishonorable discharge. Let me know. Y'all have a good day.